Hello, how are you doing? Good morning. It's a beautiful morning today and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. My name is Isaac King EK and uh, please help subscribe in the subscription button below and click on the bell so anytime I do a video it will notify you. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about witchcraft. Witchcraft. You know, we have this orientation about witchcraft that uh, a witch is someone with a horn looking funny and flies at night actually those in nigeria we understand witchcraft to be that way but i tell you that believers uh could equally be witches you can actually be a witch or be bewitched as a believer quote and unquote so i'm gonna just carry through a, a, a discussion and then you would see how I mean that a believer, um, tongue speaking and all that can equally be a witch or be acting like a witch. Okay, so we'll see the attributes of witchcraft. We'll see um, if you find yourself doing any of these things, know that you, in the eyes of the Lord, you are being a witch or a wizard. Okay, all right. So I'm going to do one act, um, anchor scripture and then. Um, I'll just quote some of the scriptures so that we will not waste a lot of time here. Oh, Galatians chapter 3 verse 1. Galatians chapter 3 verse 1. It's a very popular scripture. Okay? Galatians chapter 3 verse 1. Ye foolish Galatians, who had bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ had been evidently set forth, crucified, amongst you now apostle paul here was saying that um the believers now he was speaking to believers here he wasn't speaking to non-believers he was asking them who has bewitched them you know who has um, uh, cast the spell of witchcraft on them and they are not believing what they ought to believe <laughs> now sometimes we we are we lie to ourselves about some certain realities and then live in an opposite reality, okay? Based on the fact that uh, one way or the other we have been bewitched. Now, being bewitched is not necessarily about someone casting a spell on you, and then you see your spirit, um, uh, your soul leaving your body to do some activities at night and all that. No, there's another way at which one can actually be bewitched from the mind. The mind the mind so just follow me gradually i need to establish this so that you would understand me better okay now i said something here you can be a believer yet a witch witchcraft does not uh, manifest in a day it's a daily habit that you refuse that refuses to go or to undergo some character check some reality check some of these habits that you refuse to check and then they grow into witchcraft okay we're going to see those habits um and witchcraft actually starts from envying from strives from malice from um hatred from bitterness pride that's how witchcraft actually starts so you have to check it okay and then if you don't check it it grows into becoming something very terrible now, most believers, we actually focus on sin, ignoring iniquity. And you'll be wondering, what is the difference now? It's not the same thing, sin and iniquity. No, 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 they're not the same. All right? Remember in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28, he was talking to, uh, referring to Lucifer. And the Bible said, an iniquity was found in him. From the day iniquity was found in him. You would be hearing scriptures like that. All right? Um, uh, you would understand that iniquity is actually different from sin. Sin is the the act of falsehood, like the act of uh, doing something contrary to the law, something that the law has like said not to do, do not to do, and then you do those things. Now you have sinned. That is to say, you've broken the law. Okay, uh, and then it's mostly what you do physically, and uh, you know, and all of that. But iniquity 
is the offense of the heart. Most of the things you do in the heart. Now, don't forget that Lucifer, uh, uh, the sin or the, the fault he of, uh, committed was pride. Pride. And pride is not the thing you do with your hands. It's the thing of the heart. So it's an iniquity. It has to do with heart. Now, what are iniquities? Malice, strife, bitterness, envy, you get and uh, a lot of things that you know you can you know that happens within the heart that is very very dangerous okay so i believe i've established that now there's one scripture that i want to read that most believers don't read and then it's actually pure witchcraft and you know the almighty is against witchcraft the almighty is against witchcraft now proverbs okay Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. I know most of you don't really know this Bible verse, but it's always been there. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. Okay, six things does the Lord hate. Yeah, seven are an abomination. Unto him, that's the seventh one is an abomination unto him. Let's read them. All right, a proud look, he hates that. That's an iniquity. Don't forget, a lying tongue, a hand that shed innocent blood. That's three, right? A heart that devises wicked imagination, feet that be swept into running into mischief. That's someone that is always running into mischief. Okay, five, right. A false witness that speaketh lies. Somebody, a false witness that speaketh lies. That's six. Then the seventh one is, and he that soweth discord amongst brethren. He that soweth discord amongst brethren. And you discover that you get that a lot in the body of Christ. You will see somebody who, who is very comfortable in seeing that they collide people together. He said, it's an abomination before the Lord. An abomination. Christ said, it is better that that person is not born. That person that makes this person to fall. Because uh, you, you're actually bringing people out of the body of Christ. You discover that most people that leave some uh, places of worship, some fellowship, is because they, maybe somebody gossips them. Maybe somebody went ahead and said something they didn't do. Somebody tried to. You know, collide them with somebody else and out of shame they leave that place and then you think Christ is happy and is tagged an abomination before the Lord so watch it out okay take your time and read that scripture you will understand it better now um, be careful so that you will not be walking and become a walker of iniquity and a walker of iniquity Matthew chapter 7 verse 23 all right now don't forget that all works must go through fire. Everything you are doing here on earth, everything you're doing here on earth must go through fire. It must be tested on the last day. So if your work burns, uh, and that's First Corinthians 3 verse 13. If your work burns, fine. Uh, I don't know. I'm not Christ to tell you where you go. Okay? Now, how believers become witches? Now, if you've been watching till now, that's good. Thank you. Please watch till the end. All right? How believers become witches. This is the main thing here. I'm going to be very fast. Okay? I have 10 reasons. 10 signs that when you see those signs, and then either operationally you or in somebody, you know that this person is already a witch. Firstly, when everyone around you is a sinner the moment you feel like everyone around you is a sinner you are the only saint you have become a witch or a wizard <laughs> two two when you start feeling everyone around you is against you the moment you start to feel ah no 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 this one is against me or oh, this person is against me no 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 these people they don't like me they hate me everybody is your enemy you have trading you're trading on the part of witchcraft because you're already a witch. 
When you try to stop another person's happiness, you know that this is going to make this person happy, or this and that, and then maybe something is coming for this person, you know, if this thing comes, this person is going to be happy and all that, and you stop it. You're a witch. When you block another person's favor, somebody is trying to get favor from somebody. It's like, no, no, don't give her. Abba, if you give her this, that, that. No, don't give him. If you give him, he'll be proud. A witch. When you will not help someone because you feel they will do it better than you. When you won't help someone because you feel, I don't know if you help him now. In your heart, you know, you will do it better. So instead of that, you won't help the person. You're a witch. When you will eat both yours and that of others, something is given for everybody, you decide to eat everything as a gluten that you are. It might not necessarily be food or drink, it might be like maybe money or something. You eat everything. You're a witch. When you are comfortable to be the only one on top, when you're comfortable to be the only one on top, my brother, my sister, a witch. When you can't forgive and always vengeful, when you can't forgive somebody, you say, no, 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 can't forgive and always vengeful, a witch. When you wish that another person will fall so you can prove a point, when you wish that another person would fall so you can prove a point, I, I talk him now, I said it, witch. When another person's success makes you sick, when another person's success, another man's success, another woman's success makes you sick, a witch. If you find any of these traits around you, a witch, you are practicing witchcraft. You don't have to fly at night. Your own is land witchcraft. You have not graduated. That is what the devil will see. That those are the attributes the devil, Lucifer, would see in you and qualifies you. Ah, this is a candidate. I might be saying this lightly. I might be saying this funny in a funny way, but I tell you, that is witchcraft. Disease from all those things. Try and avoid all those things, and you will live a very beautiful life. You would live a very peaceful life. Because you will not have to envy or worry about how that's your heart racing and all of that. You will live long. Don't forget that every time you're angry and your heart races like that, your lifespan is cut short. So I advise you, please, adjust this. This is that from a character. It's a character. If you know those characters, you, you just avoid certain things. You adjust from these things. Okay? We borrow these characters. We are not born with them. We just, we just carry them from environments and from friends and relatives and all of that. So you can equally drop them. Because when you are formed, you are informed with these characters. Okay? So, I would advise you, please, if you see any of the traits around you or around anybody around you, please try and avoid them. And don't forget that um, when you are around somebody with that kind of energy, it's a matter of time. This person is always envious, always envious. It's a matter of time. You too will start became, uh, becoming like that or start acting in that manner. I hope that this blesses someone. I hope that you check yourself. And I love you. Shalom.